thank you. Thank you very much for putting together this space. For putting together a space where around 160 people, around 60 of the most character-driven and competent leaders of uh, the world are coming together. Thank you for this space. I decided to use this space uh, that I have of these 10 minutes. You know, a friend of mine actually asked me once, if you have 10 minutes to address a message to the world, what would this message be? And I realized that actually I can look at the world through your eyes right now, because you come actually from all the corners of the world. And that is I, what I will do. I will address a message to the world. It's a decision that I made when I came here today. And that decision is that I will not make a speech. I won't make a speech. I will make a wish for leaders. Today we stand here. And I uh, would like to address to you a wish that goes for me just as much as for you, just as much as for members that are sitting back home. <coughs> a wish for the world and a wish for peace. Because we must never lose sight of the initial purpose why this organization exists. And that is for peace and fulfillment of humankind's potential. And my wish goes out like this. I wish we become fully aware of the uniqueness of the context of 2009 and 2010. Why is it unique? Because I believe that this term, like never before, we can tap into resources that we, had never that we never had access to. And I'm not referring here to material and physical resources, but I'm referring here to inner resources of creativity and innovation that the current state of the world is forcing us to access. We have to think outside of the box. We have to think of innovative solutions to come up with solutions for the challenges of the world that we're living in today. Maybe we needed a financial crisis to be able to evaluate the way we're actually wasting and not managing resources. Maybe we need a financial crisis to realize that actually we are too damaging too much the environment. And I believe that in this context, a solution for the environmental and energetic crisis can stem up. In terms of ISEC, I think we need the financial crisis to take some decisions that were for a long time common sense but never before have been common practice. The idea of deploying our directors in the region is not new. Many generations have already been thinking about it. It's just that only in this particular context are we actually doing it, and we are going to do it. The idea already exists. Next year, it will be about executing this innovation and successfully implementing this uh, innovation that will uh, bring more profit for the entire network. Maybe we need a financial crisis to look more closer to the way we are spending our money and uh, to generate more innovative ways in which we can manage resources. Maybe we need a financial crisis to be able to reach out to the fellow MCP that is on the other side of the network, pick up a phone and ask him, how are you managing your people? How are you managing your resources? How together can we create more profit for the organization that actually we're leading together? Maybe we need all this context to come up with this, um, not to come up with this idea, but actually to have the guts to put it in practice. Because ideas, we know them. They're there. They're out there. They're in books. This year it will be about executing these ideas, executing this innovation. <coughs> Do you know what happens to people when they're taken um, to the limit? It actually it happens not only to people, but also to entities, to organizations, it's been scientifically proven that when taken outside of the comfort zone, people, just as much as entities, just as much as organizations, evolve. And I believe that this is the context that we're looking at. Next year, we will be using more than ever the power of technology. I believe that so far, we haven't made enough use of the partnerships that we have, uh, that we have access to, that can, that can bring technology into our daily operations. The next term, the team of ISEC International will be more physically, globally present than ever through the reach of the directors and the presence of the GM board in the countries and in the region. Indeed, this raised some certain challenges for us. But we will be able to bridge these gaps 
through the power of the technology and through the partnerships that I was mentioning to you before. Next year, we will be looking at a different leadership paradigm. We will be looking at a paradigm that is not going to be about I. It's not going to be about the individual. It is going to be all about us and the we. We will have to talk to each other. We will have to make the most use of the network that we are part of. So as to be able to mobilize these resources that exist in all the countries that we are present in. And make profit with less cost for the global organization. You know, there is something that I don't really like about the way we are having this conversation. Because I believe that this doesn't support necessarily to the maximum. <coughs> paradigm in the world. Next year, the AI team will be leading, just as I was talking to you right now, from behind. And in front here, there are the members in our LCs that are making our success happen. If you want to join me in this journey, I am Monica and I am standing for President of ITEC International. <laughs> 